Hello, this is Arvind Kumar Bandari. Here we are going to learn about the qubit free fluorometer. It is used to check the quantification of double standard DNA, RNA, oligonucleotides, proteins, ion spheres, and fluorometer. It's very simple to use and you will get different types of DNA. The simple thing is you have to open the lid and you have to see that what you want to quantify. For example, now we are going to quantify the double standard DNA. So we have to press the double standard DNA. So we have two different types of kits where we use this fluorometer. So we, here we have double strand high sensitive kit and double standard DNA broad range kit. So for our sample we have used double standard high sensitivity kit so that you press that. Here there are two samples, I mean like two things which you need to be mentioned. One is run samples, read standards. We have already taken the standard values yesterday. So we are directly going to run the sample. So the best way is you take the sample, put it in the fluorometer, so you run sample, the volume of your sample is 1 microliter. So you generally don't need to close this. No. So the general volume of your uh, cubitometer is ranges from 1 to 20 microliters. You can load like 1 to 20 microliter of your sample. So we have generally loaded 1 microliter sample and then here the tube. Then you will get the results. So you have mentioned the sample volume. Oh yeah. 1 microliter. 1 microliter sample volume. So this, then open, put it in the dark, read the next sample. So you have two samples. Two samples. When are you going to collect this put, value? Uh, that value? will be automatically saved, I will show you. The red tube. This is 40 nanogram per microliter ml. So, so what if, is this? The same thing, 1000. This is for Nan ml actually. This is it is original per... calculated. This is the original. So if you go to data, you will get the information regarding your samples. The data will be stored automatically on your setup. Hmm. So this is the way how we use how the cubitometer. So you just want to note it down or you have any... any anyways, you can come and you can directly check. See, your sample has... Where is the value? Here. 1889.55 this is RFU nanogram per ml mm, you have this much nanogram per ml you can calculate for microliter so uh, 14160 one four nanogram one of uh, dna in 1 ml so this will okay. be 14.16 nanogram per microliter so you have 26 microliter 25 microliters hmm. that means 14 into 25 becomes how much i don't know 25 250 1 2 3 4 350 50 nanogram of DNA you have. Yeah. So this is the simple qubit meter and the uses of qubit meter. Thank you yeah. for the class.